Yo, welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. I'm your host, Jose Rocks, and today we have another episode of Pokemon Spotlight. So today we're going to be getting into the the LAIC that just uh, passed the previous weekend. And congratulations to uh, Marco Silva for, you know, winning, taking down the entire tournament. But what we want to go over today is going to be Regi Reginald, which, what we call Reginald, which is Reggie Alecki, right? So Reggie Alecki really became a star, and it was so close to winning this tournament. Spoiler alert, uh, Reggie Alecki got second place. Um, but it, it it showcased itself for what it really can do, and it, it piqued my interest. And I initially was going to do um, a spotlight around Roaring Moon because in day one, Roaring Moon was pretty much tearing up, you know, the tournament. Like, almost like all the teams, like the first six teams that were streamed on uh, on YouTube, they all had Roaring Moon on it. So I was gonna do that, but then Reggie Lecky showed up and just, just stole the show away, right? And I kind of felt like Reggie Lecky was a little bit more interesting to talk about. So that's kind of why I decided to choose this one. So specifically, we're gonna start with the set that won. So it was a Madnik and Lecky. Uh, it was Ice Terror, which is very interesting. And it's funny because it's it took all this time for Reggie Lecky to finally like show up with the Ice Terror. Because when Reggie Alecki was thought to come back in the, um, what was it, Thunderbolt? When Reggie Alecki was supposed to be coming back in the Regulation D format, everyone thought that it was going to have a lot of usage just because of how dominant Reggie Alecki was in Sword and Shield. But it ended up falling off a cliff. And when it was first announced, everyone was like going straight to Terra Ice, um, Terra Blast Reggie Alecki, right? And this had the idea that Landers used to be like one of Alecki's thorns. The only way to hit Landorus back in Sword and Shield was to get like one of those tar ring targets and trick it with Grimmsnarl onto Landorus and then you can hit uh, Landorus with like a Thunderbolt. All right, because it removes the immunity to ground. Other than that, like the Regia Lecky was 98% of the time losing to uh, Landorus unless you had like a uh, Hyper Beam with Max Strike and Landorus is already like uh, slightly low. Other than that, you really wasn't you really wasn't beating it. And physical Lecky also lost to Landers because you just get intimidated and can't do anything to it, right? So that's the idea of, you know, where the ice came from as soon as Aleki was announced to be coming back. So Aleki is a really good Pokemon. Um, if you want to see, it's the fastest Pokemon in the format without an item, right? If you want to say, okay, Iron Bundle, Fluttermane are faster, that's because they actually uh, are carrying booster energy, right? But if they don't have the booster energy, then naturally Reggie Lecky is just the fastest. Like, look at this base 200. Like, that's the fastest you can be pretty much. It's already, like, completely maxed out. I think that's, like, the highest base total you can have. So, it's really impressive. Like, you know, it's a really fast mod. And this is just, like, 499. Like, you're hitting this speed tier. And you're not even um, a timid nature yet, right? A timid, you go up to, you know, 548. And this thing is outspeeding even things on Tailwind. It's outspeeding Scarf Mons. Like, Scarf Mons can't catch it, right? And that's, you know, really, that's really good for Reggie Lecky for what it wants to do. And the Ice Terra Blast, like, next to Chiyu is doing a lot of damage, especially to things that it hits super effective, right? And that's kind of an idea of how, you know, Reggie Lecky wanted to function. Since Transistor got nerfed down to 1.2, you kind of compensate that by using Chiyu, right? And I believe his Chiyu was uh, Life Orb, and he went all in on the damage, right? With Fire Terra. And then... So, Aleki's main weakness, like, what kept Aleki from being dominant in um, Regulation D and finally up until this regional Regulation E, it wasn't good as well. And that's because things like Chimpao exist, right, with Sprit Priority. Chimpao Sucker Punch is is dealing a lot of damage to Reggie Aleki, right? Almost KOing you, depending on, like, what you're invested in. We have Dragonite. Dragonite, Choice Band, just straight one shots it with E Speed, right? You can't live that. And then you're investing a Focus Sash on the Reggie Alecky, which is always not optimal if you have something else that might want to take up the Focus Sash slot, right? And then you have, what, Rillaboom? And we all know that Rillaboom, even from Sword and Shield, uh, Grassy Glide was really good into Alecky, that you had a Dynamax Alecky just to not get wiped by, like, Choice Band Rillaboom with Grassy Glide. So we know that that's pressure on Alecky. And that's just, like, so much priority. And this, then you also have... Um, Landers being one of the most common things in the format still, so now you're forced to Terra and just to deal with Landers. And then you also have um 
What else do we have? Uh, Urshifu. Urshifu with um, Aqua Jet. Right? And Reggie Alecki just doesn't resist any of these moves, right? And now it's just hard to deal with it. But now it's kind of solved because now we're, instead of using like something like Phrygarath, um, which stop you from using priority on your team, and you still want to use, uh, no, it's, instead of something like Phrygarath that can only stop priority, but it's mostly built for Trick Room, and Phrygarath also doesn't offer redirection besides like Ally Switch, you have Ndidi. So Ndidi, while his didn't have Trick Room, Ndidi pressures follow me, right? So now like this next to Ogre Pond is like a really good combo. Cause now you can get the Swords Dance off. And I like how he kind of played it in the Trick Room against like hard Trick Room teams by like using like Ogre Pond to Swords Dance and be kind of like bulky. And like having Protect on Ndidi to help stall out Trick Room. And then Ndidi tearing into Terra Dragon made it so that, you know, Ndidi wasn't taking too much damage from a lot of the common Trick Room sweepers. And now you're able to just, you know, spike your shield and protect and stall your way out of uh, Trick Room and follow me until Ndidi gets KO. And by the time they KO Ndidi, like you're picking up KOs with Ogre Pond and you're able to spike your shield and protect with all your mods. And now you're able to like stall out that Trick Room. He also had uh, Fluttermane. I'm um, not 100% sure what uh, item he had on his Fluttermane. Let me uh, check really quick because I kind of forgot. And I, I really like this team. I'm gonna uh, build a team that's inspired by his team, but it's not an exact duplicate, just to kind of have some fun with it. So where's his team? Where's his team? Here it is. So he actually was running Focus Ash on Fluttermane. And I think it was so valuable that um, all of his demands on his team, even Tornadus, they all have protect. And that's something that a lot of people don't really value enough. And I'm also gonna be making another video about, you know, protect, speaking specifically about protect, cause I kinda wanna like, you know, change up my content a little bit and, you know, add some more things besides just the battles. And I'm curious if you all would be interested in me talking about like, like different like meta changes and, and different like moves and like the value of certain things and like support mods and just, other stuff like that on top of like the battles and stuff just something a little extra i was doing you know a couple extra things when i first started doing the youtube and then i kind of like went into the battles because they were doing really well but now i still want to continue to add a little bit more but yeah he had protect on everything so he's able to you know successfully like stall out a lot of trick rooms while having a hyper offense team and he's also able to like stall out tailwinds and you know go from there so this team is really good. Like I said, I, I wanna build I'm gonna build a team that's inspired by this, but it's not gonna be the exact same. It's gonna be maybe a couple of the same, but of course it's gonna be Reggie Lecky. But I'm gonna use my team just a little bit different. But like th this team is like it, it was incredible and I was impressed with what he was able to do with it. And it's centered around Reggie Lecky, right? Reggie Lecky is the main, you know, thing that's like that's really carrying this team. So outside of that, you know, let's go ahead and delete some of these. Uh, another Reggie Lecky set that I that people were trying to use that just wasn't working was Choice Scarf Reggie Lecky, just the outspeed Arm Bundle, right? But then Arm Bundle ended up not being that common, right? So then it was like kind of like not even a good choice to go for this. And then they would have like Volt Switch, and you'd be able to Volt Switch in and out, right? And that's also kind of valuable when you want to reposition Reggie Lecky in case it's in a bad spot, unless you're up against a ground type uh, attacker, right? Then it would be like Terra Ghost, just so you can't get faked out and then have like Terra Blast as well. Uh, Terra Blast. Uh, what else? It would carry Thunderbolt and I would say Hyper Beam, just so you're not, you know, you have a little bit more coverage. Right, and then they'll use a set like this, and this like next to Chiyu still can be like pretty threatening and deal a lot of damage, but this is the one you know that kind of cracked the metal with the magnet. There's also like you know Regilecki with Focus Sash, which I'm interested in giving a shot because I think that I saw some of the issues that his Regilecki is that he kind of had some times where he had to play passive, and he was playing passive due to the fact that. Reggie Alecki um, was able to get one shot by certain things. And if you're able to move Ndidi's terrain, 
then Reggie Lecky's, you know, more likely to get one shot. So that's also something, this is one of the sets that I would like to explore just with the Focus Sash. And probably still would do like Terra Ice because I thought that, you know, being able to hit, you know, Rillaboom, being able to hit uh, a lot of these Terra Dragons, that things that Terra Dragon in front of Reggie Lecky, and also being able to hit Landers is like really valuable, right? So I think the Focus Sash can be good. And then there's also, um, Original Lecky with Choice Specs. The so Choice Specs is pretty cool. Uh, this this set does a lot more damage uh, with Terra Electric and Thunderbolt. If you also next to Chiyu, or like if you have like, let's say you go max speed a Lecky, right? But you have a Booster Energy Arm Bundle that outspeeds a Lecky. So let me show you something that I'm thinking of. Electro Web. Uh, I would say Thunder, just so you you know, in case you want to just go for like a really powerful attack. And then probably I would say let's just say E speed. Let's just put E speed just to have something pick off things that are sash, right? Or you can go with volt switch. Yeah, I was gonna say E speed can be something that you can consider too. If you go volt switch here, just go straight for electric attacks, and then you play with Fluttermane, right? And this is something that's really cool. So you play with Fluttermane, you go booster energy. And then you make your Lecky still fast, right? So you can pretty much max out his speed. You max out his special attack. And then you make sure that you play with like a Frigograph or an Ndidi. I put Frigograph for now so you can like block priority. And now you're able to go for Fluttermane with Fake Tears, right? So I would say Moonblast. And this is one of the sets, you know, that I've been using a lot. Because I really like uh, Fluttermane with the Booster Energy. And then I would go like, you could go Icy Wind. But since Regilecki already has Electro Web, you can still stick with your Shadow Ball. And then go Fake Tears here. And Protect. Right? And then... Um, I think this is about... How much speed do you need? How much... I'm going to show you how much speed, exactly how much speed you need to outspeed the Regilecki. So you move first. And you want to make sure your Reggie Lecky is still pretty fast, right? So, you, I mean, you really don't even need that much. I would say just to play it safe, so when you're not, um... I kind of like going with the Timid, so you get more bulk. And I like to go about this much speed. And that way, when your booster energy is not activated, you still outspeed Tornadus, which is just, uh, usually like a benchmark that I like to hit. It's being able to outspeed Tornadus, and then you can just pretty much put a lot into your special attack, probably about that much, and then just put the rest in like bulk, like HP, bring your HP up a little, your defense up a little bit, and, you know, just drop the rest in HP. And now you have, you know, a pretty decent set. This is not optimized, but this is just, you know, some theory crafting. I would say go like maybe right here just to get that to an eight. So when you put that at level 50, the, the number in and a nine, and that optimizes like leftover recovery or like grassy terrain recovery, right? And then, so now, your Regilecki is slower than your Fluttermane when the Booster Energy is activated. And then you can go for, like, Fake Tears and, like, Choice Specs Thunderbolt, right? And if they're not resisting that, then you're just one shot and everything. And then you're, like, really naturally fast. So now this combo is able to outspeed a lot of things. And you don't have to run that, like, that Icy Wind, like, how you use it when you're going with, like, Chiyu Fluttermane. So that's just, you know, food for thought. Uh, one of the sets that you can try with, like, Choice Specs. Uh, uh, with electric terror there's just so much you know versatility to Aleki that has been underexplored and even physical Aleki uh people have been like using it as like an explosion bot but i think it could be so much more than that like if you get it like next to like a how user to like boost Reg Aleki speed because reggie Aleki, i mean it is based 100 attack so it's not hitting that hard, but like physical wild charge, like you're still like dealing, you know, good damage to like Fluttermane. And a lot of things are like physically weak in the format. So like just having something physical, you could even go air acrobatics. Well, I mean, you probably do this better with like Rillaboom and Roaring Moon. I've even seen like um, a Palafin recently. I played on a ladder that had acrobatics with like a Citrus Berry, which is pretty cool. But there's just so many different st strategies that you can use with Reggie Lecky that people have yet to, like, explore yet, right? 
And I would say you can use this like next to like grass to see really cool. Just to activate your acrobatics and go flying to her. Now, you know, you'll be able to have another acrobatics user. So there's just, you know, a couple of sets that I was exploring. I don't think this one's kind of niche. It's more like a gimmick, you know, honestly. I don't think that, I think that this may be good. Choice Specs is really strong. It's just Regilecki's locked in. I think that this is the most consistent Regilecki set. I think that this is a little bit uh, niche and not gimmicky, but niche. And then this is, you know, a really good set that, you know, just got second at Worlds. It's still really good, but it does have like some flaws. And while the Magnate does like help you make up for the nerf to Transistor, um, sometimes the focus ash is more valuable because now you have to switch in DDN just to survive like priority. And sometimes when they know that you have a DD on your team and that you need to switch it in for Regilecki to survive, they can kind of play around that and kind of read that and uh, punish you for like making an obvious play like that. And the Focus Sash just gives you just a little bit more insurance. And that's what I feel like uh, makes that, you know, set more consistent. But that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to, you know, talk a little bit about Reggie Lecky. Congrats on getting second place. It did not win, but it was so close to winning. I definitely was rooting for this Pokemon to win. I do. It's funny because Reggie Lecky and like Incineroar and Urshifu and all of them were kind of like dominating Sword and Shield. And, you know, we were happy to have them gone for a little bit. But now that they're, they're coming back, like, and with some of the stuff that's going on in the meta, you kind of miss Regilecki, right? Because Regilecki and Incineroar, they kind of control, you know, some of the damage output and some of, like, the Pokemon that are kind of over overpowered. Like, if Regilecki was top of the format right now, Urshifu Water wouldn't be as dominant as it is, right? Same with Fluttermane. Like, Regilecki outspeeds Fluttermane. Flutter, like, if they didn't have booster energies, then Regilecki would just be, you know, king of the format, being able to slow those fast Pokemon down. So that Fluttermane and like Chimpop can get KO'd by like other things that are like, that are strong enough to hit them. Because those Pokemon are generally frail, but they're so fast, right? And that's what Regilecki used to do in Sword and Shield. Make your opponents pay for like having like frail, fast Pokemon, but they can't outspeed your Lecky. And you just go for Electro Web and let your teammate just knock out them after that. And even if they have Sash, the Electro Web breaks the Sash. And that's what made Regilecki so scary. And then also like... When people started to dynamax it and then it started to sweep people with max lightnings and then going for max lightning in the electric terrain after it does the first max lightning which hits harder the second time right and it's just crazy damage for like life orb right and then <laughs> when you you can like run like uh max strike just so you have some type of speed control as well regilecki with hyper beam and now you're slowing it down things down for your opponent your um your teammates to hit your opponents right and it's just it was just so good and then then when people figured out this special attacking Alecky, people transitioned to a physical Alecky, and then they started doing physical Max Lightning with Helping Hand, which is able to run one shot Thunderous, which was a very powerful Pokemon in the format, right? So it was just really cool Pokemon, really dominant, and I'm happy to see it doing well again. I, I really do love Reggie Alecky, and I hope to see that it gets you know a little bit more results and people see that it does have a place in the meta because it's a fun Pokemon to use. But like I said, that's going to be it for this video. If you like this type of content, let me know with a comment below. You know, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next one. All right. Deuces.